Hi everyone, apart from doing the ACT math practice problems, recently I have been trying to complete all the topics of the equation of straight line and in this video I am going to discuss about how to determine or how to derive the equation of a straight line in the perpendicular form and the perpendicular form is also sometimes called the normal form some authors might refer to it as normal form and some other authors might say perpendicular form but they both mean the same thing now let's try to understand what is this form well two pieces of information will be provided to create the equation of the straight line let's suppose the straight line is line a which is the blue color line i have in this diagram and the distance of this line from the origin which which is on that distance will be provided and in this particular diagram i have denoted that as p units so on the distance from origin to the straight line that distance is p units and of course on is perpendicular on the line a that is why on is the distance from the origin and also the second piece of information that will be provided is the angle that on makes with the positive direction of x axis and in this diagram that is alpha so alpha is the angle that on makes with the positive direction of x axis so the slope of on is definitely tangent of alpha now let's assume that there is a variable point or a moving point on the straight line A and that point is R whose coordinates are x, y. So then what would be the coordinates of the point N? Let's drop a perpendicular from N onto the x axis and let's suppose the perpendicular landed on point B on the x axis. Then if you think about OB would definitely be P times cosine of alpha because cosine of alpha would be OB over ON, ON is P. So in this case, we can say OB over ON is equal to cosine of alpha. And from here, we can say then OB is equal to ON times cosine of alpha. And what is ON? ON is nothing but lowercase p because that distance is p units. So p times cosine of alpha. And that's exactly what I have denoted up there as the x coordinate of the point n. And similarly, bn would be, so from here we can directly say then bn would be p times sine of alpha. And I have denoted that over there as well. So the y coordinate of the point n is p times sine of alpha. Now we have two points on the line A point R and point N. So we can determine the slope of line A. So let's try to calculate the slope of line A. Slope of line A would be something like this. The difference in the y coordinates of the two points N and R. So their difference in the y coordinates would be P times sine of alpha minus y over difference in the x coordinate. That would be P times cosine of alpha minus x. Now what is the slope of ON? Well slope of ON is already noted up there that is tangent of alpha. Let me highlight that. And because ON is perpendicular on the line A, the product of their slopes would be negative 1 because the product of the slopes of two perpendicular lines is equal to negative 1. We already know that, right? I have already created a video on that topic. I have shared the link in the description. Feel free to watch it. So what would be the product of the slopes of ON and line A? The slope of line A which is P times sine of alpha minus Y over P times cosine of alpha minus X times the slope of ON which is tangent of alpha. This is equal to negative 1. Let's try to simplify this. So from here we can say P times sine of alpha times tangent of alpha minus Y times tangent of alpha is equal to negative 1 times P times cosine of alpha minus X and we can write that as X minus P times cosine of alpha because of the negative 1 being multiplied with each of the terms inside the parenthesis that their sign will change and from here this is actually P times sine of alpha times tangent of alpha can be written as sine of alpha over cosine of alpha minus y times again tangent of alpha can be written as sine of alpha over cosine of alpha is equal to x minus p times cosine of alpha and from here we see that p times sine squared of alpha over cosine of alpha minus y times sine of alpha over cosine of alpha is equal to x minus p times cosine of alpha. Now if we multiply by cosine of alpha on both sides of this equation, what we are going to get? Well, we'll get something like this. On the left hand side, it will be p times sine squared of alpha minus y times sine of alpha is equal to here x minus p times cosine of alpha. This will be multiplied by cosine of alpha. 
and that can be written as x times cosine of alpha minus p times cosine square of alpha and now let's bring p times cosine square of alpha to the left hand side and y times sine alpha to the right hand side so i'm kind of transposing the terms so from here we can say well then p times sine square of alpha which was already there on the left hand side plus this other p times cosine square of alpha which is a negative term on the right hand side i'm bringing it to the left hand side so that becomes positive p times cosine square of alpha is equal to on the right hand side we already had x times cosine of alpha and from the left hand side i'm bringing y times sine of alpha to the right hand side so that will be positive y times sine of alpha and from here here you see we have p as a common factor then we have sine squared alpha plus cosine squared alpha is equal to x times cosine of alpha plus y times sine of alpha and then on the left hand side you see the terms within the parenthesis sine square of alpha plus cosine square of alpha that is actually equal to one that's one of the Pythagorean identities that we know so this left hand side essentially becomes p times one or just p and that is equal to x times cosine of alpha plus y times sine of alpha and if we write them in the other way we can say this is nothing but x times cosine of alpha plus y times sine of alpha is equal to p and that is the equation of the straight line a in terms of alpha p x and y that's exactly what we needed to derive so that's the normal form or the perpendicular form of the equation of a straight line when p and alpha have been provided let's take a quick example suppose we have a straight line which is 10 units away so in the example p is equal to 10 and the normal from the origin onto the straight line makes an angle which is let's say 45 degree and we have to find the equation of the straight line well the equation of the straight line is obviously like this we know that the perpendicular form of the equation of straight line is like this it is x times cosine of alpha plus y times sine of alpha is equal to p now let's substitute the value of p and alpha in this equation so from here what do we get we get x times cosine of 45 degree because alpha is 45 degree in this example plus y times sine of 45 degree is equal to p would be 10 now one thing we need to note down is that p is always a positive number because it denotes the distance from origin to the straight line so p is always a positive number it is never negative it is always a positive number so let's highlight that quickly right here so i would say p is always positive so i said p is a positive value always it is always a positive number right all right so now let's proceed with our solution here so here let's simplify this so this will become x times 1 over square root of 2 that's the value of cosine of 45 degree plus y times 1 over square root of 2 that is also the value of sine of 45 degree and that is equal to 10 and if we multiply both sides by square root of 2 then this becomes x plus y is equal to 10 times square root of 2 and that is the desired equation of this straight line i hope everything made sense thank you for watching see you in the next video